Good morning. Well, though the weather don't tell you, it is May. And if you've been around Wolfboro long enough, you know that May is the month of the Great Smith River Canoe and Kayak Race. And sitting right beside me here today is Roger Murray, uh, who's been running that race for, well, I don't know, so long. I don't know if he even remembers how long. How long you've been doing it, Roger? Well, since about 1989, the last century. God's sakes, you're, you're older than you look, ain't you? Well, <clears throat> good to have you here, because me and Bert, we don't really know nothing about the race, except, except the basics. Um, when did it get started? When did the whole, whole chin did get started? I think it got started in about 1974. It was started by two teachers at Kingswood, uh, Art Brunt and John Markowitz, yeah, yeah. and they recruited Barry Lugie, who canoe raced with Art Brunt, and they put it together to raise funds for outward bound scholarships. Yeah. And then I think it was about the 12th year, uh, they decided they really needed an, a larger group, and then Barry Lugie, who was a member of the Lions Club, approached the Lions Club and asked us if we'd take it over. And we said yes, and I've been doing it ever since. And you've been suffering ever since. Uh, yes. Every yes. May. You yes, gotta sir. watch what you say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so uh, there must be a bunch of details about uh, about how the whole thing works. I, I don't imagine uh, all them canoes and kayaks is in one uh, is in one group, one class, is they? No, we have uh, 19 classes Lord. designed to accommodate people of all ability or lack of ability. And uh, we have staggered starts, so only a certain number of boats go off at any one time. Yeah, and now I, I find my ask, myself asking this question more these days. Is, is age a consideration in them classes? Uh, there are family classes where one person needs to be over 30 and one under 15. But otherwise, it uh, doesn't matter what your age is. And I think the oldest person to race was 87. Well, that's pretty good. I was going to say... Uh, I, I hope, I, well, that wouldn't be appropriate I, if he has to have an old farts class, would it? But uh, that, uh, <clears throat> I'm, glad, I'm glad you got some, uh, some leeway there for us older folks. Not, not that I plan to paddle, but just... Uh, so, uh, how, how long's the course? The course is about four miles. It starts yeah. at Albee Beach on yeah. Lake Wentworth yeah. and goes across Lake Wentworth to Smith River, down Smith River to Crescent Lake. There's a portage around the Crescent Lake Dam, uh, and then there's a short whitewater stretch, and then you go into a second portage at the site of the old Excelsior Mill, yeah. and go down into Back Bay, and uh, then down Back Bay to the Wolfboro Town docks and the finish line. So it's yeah. kind of interesting that you're that in that many bodies of water. Yeah, well, and, and the folks that have watched it tell me that uh, it's kind of exciting to be there at the rapids as, as the canoes go through. And uh, it can be kind of exciting uh, at the finish line because the Mount Washington's there. And so I, I, don't, I don't know why some of them just don't seem to see the Mount, some of the canoeists, that is, don't seem to see the Mount Washington sitting there. And it'll toot its horn, and yet they still keep wanting to go around to the left. They had to go over to the docks, take their canoes out. Uh, ever had any fatalities? Uh, no fatalities, and as far as I know, the most serious injuries have been to canoes. Oh, yes, in the rapids when they were yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Bert and I was talking about that, and we figured uh, that'd be a good way. It only cost you 20 bucks. That'd be a good way to take your spring bath, wouldn't it? Quick and cold. That's the only way to take a bath in the spring. Uh, refreshing. Uh, refreshing, yes, yes. Our, uh, uh, how, how, many, how many folks usually sign up, usually register? Well, we, we have between maybe 70 boats registered between kayaks and uh, canoes. Yeah. Already? No, for no, the race. Oh, ge generally, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, you had a big year back in, oh, I don't know, back in the 80s, wasn't it? There was one year back in the, when this started out, there was really nothing much happening this time of year. And the race is always yeah. held yeah. the weekend before Memorial Day. And this was kind of the beginning of spring. And uh, we didn't have competition from graduations yeah. and uh, uh, weddings yeah. And, yeah. and a whole slew of other sports. And there was one year we had 207 boats. My that word. was the year that 
Barry Luigi, one of the founders, died, and oh, sure, all sure. his friends came to the race. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, how long does it take to get from Albee Beach down to town docks? Uh, say average, maybe. Well, I'm not sure the average it takes. Uh, I think the fastest time is about 24 minutes. Wow. I used to think if you didn't finish in an hour, you weren't coming, but I've been proved <laughs> wrong. <laughs> All right. And, and, and weather don't make no difference? You go rain, shine, snow? Yeah, absolutely. We, ha in fact, had one year when people showed up with snow on their canoes. Wow. And we actually had a good same-day registration that year. Hardy fox them, them, yeah. them canoeists, them kayakers. Um, uh, how, 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 do you, uh, how do you register for this? Uh, well, uh, everybody who raced last year should have received an entry form. Uh, their entry forms can be obtained from the Parks and Rec Department in Wolfboro, from uh, the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, you can leave a message with me at 603-569-5454 or 4697, and I would be happy to send you a form. Um, and you can register the day of the race. Sure, sure. Uh, registration starts at 10 on uh, May 20th and at closes at about 1245. Yeah. So now, if you leave your car over there at Albee Beach, you got to carry a canoe all the way back from the town dock to the beach there. That's that's a pretty good hike. Or you could paddle back, I suppose. Well, that could be a little difficult going upstream. <laughs> them, them rapids, but, yes. Uh, although some people seem to like to cross the finish line multiple times, which <laughs> keeping track of the racers makes that is kind of interesting. <laughs> But uh, now we do provide a courtesy van running between uh, cool. yeah. Dockside and uh, uh, the start of the race. Yeah. Yeah. And, That's uh, good. Yeah. Anything else we might need to know? Uh, no. It's a, you know it's a fun event. I think one of the things that really is kind of rewarding is you see a lot of happy people yeah. at the yeah. finish line, even some damp happy people. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so people have a good time. Yeah. It's a fun event. Yeah. Uh, it's designed for people of all ages, all abilities. We have serious racers and not at all serious racers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's on Saturday, May 20th. Um, and uh, we hope to see you there. Yes, sir. By Gary, that's good. Well, thank you, Roger. Uh, <clears throat> good, to, uh, good to know. Wow, well, good to know you've been willing to do it for all these years. You ain't considering retiring from that, are you? Uh, well, <laughs> you're grooming no. somebody as they uh, say. Oh, that's not a good uh, word I, to use these days. Well, I inherited the race from Barry Luigi, and I, you know, I want to carry on yeah. Uh, yeah. his tradition. Yeah. Well, thank you again, and we'll see you May 20th. Yep. Very good.